Just days apart, two separate cases involving a total of 29 migrants found trapped inside train cars. Three people died in both of those cases in total, I should say. Among those found were people from Nicaragua who ended up near Canipa and Eagle Pass. Our Jonathan Cotto speaks with Representative Tony Gonzalez, who says these cases are part of an ongoing years long trend. This has been happening for two years. Honestly, this isn't a new issue for any of us that live along Highway 90. On Friday, two migrants found dead after a total of 17 people were discovered inside a train car east of Canipa. One day later in Eagle Pass, another group of migrants also found inside a rail car, this case resulting in one death. Whether it's Hondo, whether it's Canipa, whether it's Tejenes, Uvalde, Eagle Pass, literally every single week somebody is dying. He says this operation all starts in Eagle Pass, where migrants jump on board the train after crossing into the U.S. illegally, avoiding train inspections that are conducted at the U.S.-Mexico border. I visited a ranch in Eagle Pass maybe about eight months ago, and literally the train comes over, uh, comes over from Mexico. It stops at the train station in the United States, and one mile from that is where all the migrants jump on board. Gonzalez says migrants tend to then jump off in areas like Uvalde, Hondo, and Canipa. Last year in Uvalde, there was a two-year-old girl that jumped off the train and she lost her, she lost her arm. Uh, her mother also jumped off the train and she lost her foot. And with warmer temperatures, Gonzalez says the death toll will only increase. These cartel members treat these migrants as, as if they're not even people. And says these types of cases, though tragic, take a great toll on border communities and its resources. Imagine pulling bodies out of the train every single week. Uh, you know, imagine that you're having to deal with this stress if you're a firefighter or an EMS or, or a, a sheriff or a police officer. This is what the, the stress is being put on the first responders and it's dangerous. It's the second and third order effects of this border crisis that is hurting uh, really our district. It's hurting America in general, but it's hurting those rural areas the most. Jonathan Cotto, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.